But in my case, I'm comfortable enough and Mama JF has left me with everything that matters in life, what matters most of life. And so what can I do? I cannot hate her. I cannot be frustrated about this. And that's it. So that's why I had to take three days total to... I, I made so, so much cleaning, uh, so much reinstalling, so much plastering of the walls, construction, renovation. I wanted to set the home in the way I like it. It's like sterilized this home now. I can walk finally. I can access everything. The fridge is super clean. I, but so in my case, I'm comfortable. That is JF Garapay. Alt-right, far-right, white supremacist streamer, also one of the most popular people in the manosphere. Uh, three days after his wife went missing, talking about cleaning his uh, house, sterilizing it, and doing renovation work. So welcome, guys, to a very special true crime episode of the Dusty Smith Show. Uh, you guys might, might not know this about me, but I love true crime. I've seen pretty much every episode of every true crime show ever made. It's kind of my hobby. And right now, true crime podcasts are like the big it new thing. And this 100%, in my opinion, is going to be one of the big true crime podcasts. For somebody, I wanted to get a head start on it and uh, be one of the first to do this. So today we're going to cover J.F. Garapay's missing wife, who uh, has been missing for four months now, apparently. But we just discovered it because he didn't report her missing and he hasn't told anybody about it. Uh, so, yeah, it's uh, looking very suspicious. So, uh, yesterday he put out a video explaining his side of the story. And I've never watched a video that made anybody seem more guilty in my entire life. I spent uh, most of last night watching videos about this, uh, mostly from him. And I thought I would come on a live stream and we could all deep dive this true crime case together and see what we think about it. So uh, thank you for joining me. Going to be an interesting show, I think, if you're into true crime at all or if you uh, are interested in this case at all. So you guys might remember I have a history with this case, which I have, a, which makes me have a little personal connection to it. Um, four years ago, I released this video. I showed it on my show last night. I'm not going to show it right now, the entire thing, because uh, most of the clips in this show we're going to watch in other formats uh, throughout the show. But I was concerned about Jeff Garapay's wife slash uh, girlfriend. He calls, he calls her his wife. So I'm going to call her uh, wife for the remainder of this program. Now, whether they're actually married might doesn't matter, but what does seem apparent is they have two kids together and uh, they considered each other married to each other. Uh, so I put out this video four years ago showing footage of her coming on live stream where he's talking to this guy and she seems to be uh, mentally disturbed. And the way he's treating her made me concerned with her well-being, uh, wondering if her family knows where she is, if she's safe in the presence of uh, J.F. Garapay. Um, and uh, I tried to bring attention to the situation. And now four years later, uh, she's missing, and there is a manhunt on for her. The police are very concerned. Her family is very concerned. Everybody is very concerned, except seemingly for uh, J.F. Garapay. So I've had multiple interactions, run-ins with uh, Garapay over the years. Um, he got his start on the Drunken Peasant Show, which you guys might remember I also have some connection to. I have been feuding with Drunken Peasants for a long time. Uh, Drunken Peasants decided to give uh, Garapay a platform uh, which popularized him. And then he joined with Andy Racewarski to create a white supremacist podcast. And I've had many public debates and private debates with Warski. We've been battling. Uh, so I have been trying to tear down these assholes since the very fucking beginning. And... Uh, it's depressing how popular he's gotten, how much of a fan base he's built up, because if you look at his material, it's uh, not only is it white supremacy, but it's a lot of uh, woman hating. He is a star in the manosphere, and his audience hates women. You can read the comments on a lot of his videos, and they're so insane with it, they'll even warn each other not even to talk to women, because even talking to women can ruin your entire life. 
And as we watch uh, videos from him, you'll see in his own words exactly how he feels about it. He uh, believes that women shouldn't really have the freedom that they have now because they are not uh, smart enough or responsible enough to actually be free. So they should be under the thumb of a man. And um, they have too much liberty now. And things should go back to the old caveman days where you can just knock a girl in the head, I guess, and force her to do whatever you want to do. So the uh, woman-hating, the controlling... And not only that, but his own ad admissions on being rejected and how that makes him feel. We're going to take a look at all this. Before I start, I just want to say, everything I say here is speculation. I have no insider information about any of this other than what I'm about to show you. So this is all just a thought experiment, a little fun project where we can all uh, deep dive into this together and speculate about what we think might have happened uh, to Mama Garapé which is what he called her. Now, she might turn up alive next week. I have no idea. If so, obviously, I'll update the record. I uh, will be honest about it. But for now, like I said, I have never seen anybody look more guilty. And even if he's not guilty of this, as we watch the videos, you'll realize that uh, if he didn't kill her, this is exactly the type of person that would kill her. If he didn't kill her, he's still a giant fucking piece of shit in every way. So it's interesting to examine the manosphere of what it's become and watch their content and see what they reward and gravitate towards. So, uh, yep, here he is. Jeff Garfield was spotted in his words planting a potato. So that is a diss on his girlfriend, which many people think has mental disabilities. If you don't know who Jeff Garfield is, so basically he's a biologist but he quit doing biology because he kept getting accused of sexual harassment, having problems where he was working, and decided, I guess, he could make more money grifting and going on the drunken peasants and spreading white supremacy and stuff. He uh, had one interesting thing that happened, though, that it needs to be brought up. Other than the fact that he received $25,000 from Jeffrey Epstein, yes, true story. In 2014, Jeffrey Epstein sent him $25,000, if that's... Uh, any indication of his character. But he also had another uh, alleged interaction with a girl who was, by all accounts, mentally retarded. I know that's not politically correct to say, but whatever word you want to use, I'll read you what it says here. Uh, during the, uh, let's read it through the Rational Wiki website, because the Rational Wiki website gives us several interesting points like for the fact that he admits that he has been accused of sexual assault in court by seven different women which is crazy of course he claims that he never did anything wrong i've never been accused in, by anybody of sexual harassment much less in court i don't think most of us ever have much less seven times so like if you've been accused in court by seven different women of sexual harassment that seems a uh, uh, pretty bad in my opinion so uh, the gist of it is, he apparently, when he was on the Drunken Peasant Show, some girl who had uh, mental deficiencies contacted him, and uh, she was like 19 years old at the, the time. She was under the care of her parents, and he took her across state lines to try to get her pregnant, and her parents had to get, go to court and say she has the mind of an 11-year-old and have him uh, basically forced to leave her alone. And uh, so that brings us to his current girlfriend slash wife, Mama JF, who has made multiple appearances on his show. Um, and as I said, people speculate perhaps she also has mental disabilities. So before we go on, I'm going to play you a highlights reel of this missing woman. And we can all decide for ourselves exactly what we think uh, about her mental acuity. So this is uh, Mama JF on uh, the uh, Jeff Garpe show. That being said, it's a cheese that I really love. It is the original orange cheddar. Now people are saying, Jeff, why don't you share with uh, with Mama JF? Well, do you want some? No, because we went to his mother house and after I drank so much this morning and then I feel like, oh my God. Okay, you feel like, oh my god, so you see she doesn't want and to eat. And also I eat only cheese since two days, only cheese. 
because you do give me so much. Why you give me so much tea, GM? You're like a near the girl Tyson. <laughs> you do, is it like a blood for <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you cannot accuse celebrities here of rape. <laughs> this is the public space. Oh, so much no, tea. no, you cannot defame anyone. This is what took place. These are the kinds of people hey, they are. This is what we have to arrest. Is that Mama JF? I thought I heard something. So he keeps muting her and pushing her away in this clip because he's embarrassed of her, but she's having some kind of psychotic episode. Apparently she was abused in the past, and she believes the man that JF Garapay is talking to on the stream is the man who abused her. And so she keeps jumping in and accusing him of attacking her and trying to kill her. Obviously, there's something mentally wrong here, but instead of helping her, JFK, JF keeps pushing her away and um, not in any way trying to help her in the way that I thought that she needed. This is the clip that I covered four years ago and uh, was trying to get somebody to maybe check in on her well-being. <laughs> Anyhow. I had, to, I, had, I had to mute Mama Jeff because she was telling some mean things about no white guilt. I apologize. Mm. Uh, everyone who is a, who's a fan of the show knows that Mama Jeff has an uncontrollable and irrational hate of no white guilt and we don't hate her for it it's just a brain spark that she has where she construes no white guilt as someone else all right lawrence forbes says does mama jeff really have an issue with no white guilt or is she just fooling around she has an actual issue need her again push her away don't, don't say anything violent. No, I won't give What do you have to say? No, I get seriously. You tried to kill me again. Okay. And I'm fucking sick that you're fucking me with me. You always follow me everywhere. And, All right. <laughs> and you say you want to make spiritual movement, but you fucking tried to kill me for three years again. You're fucking okay. psycho about me. Okay, so the, the answer to the super chat is that Mama JF missed takes no white guilt for someone who has committed acts of violence against her so that's why you see her currently sad so weird mama jf has been the victim of an act of violence this was not by no white guilt at all she is confused and because she is confused she associates no white guilt with <laughs> Push it away People again. are asking on the regular chat, is Mama JF okay? Yes, she is doing good. I don't know if she wants to come to say hi, but she is doing good. So no worries for Mama JF. Hey. Hello. Hey, I just want to say, no, I, I will never accept your apologies, okay? <laughs> what you did to me was so mean. And this guy is not a real person. He's doing shape-shifting. <laughs> and uh, he's a ghost. Don't believe him. He's not a real person. Okay. And you so, want to kill me. Okay. So, no white guilt is a ghost, uh, according to Mama JF. I would say, as a journalist, I have a duty here not to allow defamation. And I would say that uh, the theory that no white guilt is a shape shifting ghost is unsupported at the moment. He's saying no white guilt because that's what the guy calls himself. These are white supremacists. So, all their names are generally associated with white supremacy in some way in my view all right you, we have a question for mama jf coming on the super chat k max mcdonald says mama jf what is your background what country do you derive your ethnic heritage from uh, okay. i can't answer that okay but before uh, i had um, a bad life but then after i discovered gf so she said, I can't really talk about that. I had a bad life. But then after I discovered JF. I started to look at JF every day. I was always looking at JF. I became crazy. I said, I started looking at JF every day. I was obsessed with JF. I became crazy. I lost everything I had. I lost my job, my family. I quit school. I lost everything. I was just looking at JF all the time. I was crazy. And then after I wrote to him, I said, See, I want to suck your dick. <laughs> and then you told me. 
<laughs> and that's my background. You you left you lost your job because you were addicted. I lost everything. You lost everything, everything because you were addicted job. to my shows. <laughs> yeah, I was just looking at your show all the time. Even I had a, a job and I, w I was going to hide in the bathroom to listen to your show and I was <laughs> then my boss said, Why you always disappeared for ten minutes? <laughs> then he fired me. I lost everything, my family, my friends, everything, because I was just looking at GF show all the time. <laughs> You've never told me that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> that is some dedicated fan right here. That has anything to do with me being on the show. I'm due four days a week, plus not with the flat earth thing. That is how the agreement was. That is. How See, Steve McRae was interested in the flat earth. Which is very naive and beautiful. Hello, Mama Jeff. Oh, you took your shower? Yeah, I was sleeping. Yeah, so... Hey, hello, AIU. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's a big fan of AIU. Yeah, they're big fans of AIU, of course, because they're white supremacists. But anyway, somebody said maybe she just got an accent and that makes her sound mentally off. Maybe, but the things she's saying are also very uh, suspect that she has mental deficiencies and also has past history of... Uh, attracting such women but i have no idea she's actually commented before and this is her words I, i'm not being mean by saying this she said i'm not retarded i'm just french so take that uh, as you will so now she's missing she's been missing for four months uh the police put out a statement that uh they are looking for her and they are very concerned he put out a statement too but first, the police. Missing person, help. Her name is uh, Elora Pantine, also known as Mama GF. For some reason, GF Garapay wouldn't release her name or picture in order to try to help find her. The entire thing is very uh, suspicious. So if you guys have seen her, Prince Edward Island, be sure to let somebody know. Because a uh, very strange case. He put out a statement saying, basically, the police in Canada is looking for Mama JF because in true Mama JF fashion, she has left our home in June and has disappeared from the map. I am sure that Mama JF is fine. I know she has been safe for at least two days after I dropped her where she wanted in June. Mama JF left our home entirely voluntarily to go live a life of adventure wherever it would bring her. But since she has electronically disappeared, not connecting to her cell phone or updating me or her family. Uh, this is... True Crime 101. Like I said, I watched every true crime show. The first person they always look at and suspect is the husband. Doesn't mean he did it just because he's the husband, but that's usually the person that did it, either the husband or the wife, when somebody goes missing. Usually, like eight times out of ten, that's who did it. So that's the first suspect. And this is True Crime 101. Hey, I dropped her off. Uh, she disappeared from the face of the earth. I have no idea. I haven't seen her. I'm sure she's still alive out there somewhere. This is how you set forth your defense. We're going to go into that in much greater detail uh, when we actually watch the videos he put out explain this entire situation. So, uh, I got two I want to watch. First off is the video he put out yesterday explaining the entire situation about how the cops have been uh, at his house every single day. Putting out his narrative, his side of the story. What's interesting to me about this is... Since we're just speculating, we can look at these videos uh, from the viewpoint of what if he's guilty? Let's examine his words and why he will be saying what he's saying if he's guilty. Why he'll be putting out this specific narrative. And it's interesting because basically, even though he's not being interviewed by the cops here, he's trying to get out his narrative. He's trying to tell his side of the story that he wants the cops to believe and, and the public as well. And so if you ever watch any of these uh, true crime YouTube shows, a lot of times they're just videos of like the interrogations of people, like two hour interrogation and that hundreds of thousands of views. And basically, this is like if he was being interrogated by the cops, the, his side of the story, without the cops actually being involved here. So uh, here is. Uh, also, I guess I'll play this short clip. Now, this is the clip that they put out to back up his claim that maybe she just. Uh, so his story is this, folks. And believe me, I'm going to show you. But his story is this. This woman is somehow some kind of. James Bond-like character in her ability to 
go off the grid, change her identity, and disappear without anybody finding her. And in, in, in this way, she's a super genius. And he, even though she has two kids with him, she just up and decided, hey, I'm going to leave my kids behind. I'm never going to contact any of you guys again. And I am taking some camping equipment, and I'm just going to go out into the world and camp. And I want you, JF, to go drop me off somewhere. And he's like, I did. I took the wife, uh, my wife and the mother of my two children. I just went and dropped her off somewhere with camping supplies, no credit card or anything. And she disappeared off the face of the earth. But that's to be expected because she's some kind of g- traveling genius where she can just disappear off the grid in a heartbeat and, and knows how to change her identity if she wants to and not be found. So nobody should be surprised by this. This is literally his story that he's telling. And then as soon as she disappears, he cleans his entire place, remodels it, even says that he sterilized it. So... Very, very suspicious, but this is the clip they put out to bolster his claim that she's some kind of a super spy genius who can change her identity. Now, to me, this clip doesn't show that. Uh, She talks about before she met Jeff Garpe being homeless and searching in the trash for food, which doesn't make it seem like she's some kind of survival expert in any way. But uh, I just want to play this clip for complete honesty. People at the right time. And... Also, I was uh, looking in the garbage for some food, or I was playing my violin to get money. And to sleep, I would find a little hole to sleep in every day. (laughs) But often I just made friends who just invite me to sleep, so that was easy. Uh, So if you want a little resume of what I did in my travel, I can tell you, okay? Um, okay, so first I went to France. But that was just because the little airplane ticket was so cheap. People at the right time. So, that was her claim. And you might uh, remember when a clip I just played where she said she was obsessed with him and sucking his dick and stuff. She said that she left her family, her job, everything. So it seemed like it, it, at least before he met her, she wasn't some kind of super spy genius uh, changing her identity and, and traveling around, which is uh, his entire defense here. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah, also, just in case you didn't uh, believe me, they made a video talking about the, the fact that she's pregnant. And multiple people who knew her came out and said, yes, they have two kids together, who apparently she just abandoned, disappeared off the face of the earth, never wanting to contact her family again, which, yes, is incredibly, incredibly suspicious. So this is the video he put out yesterday explaining why he hasn't mentioned that she's been missing for four months and why he doesn't really care and how the police have been uh, contacting him every single day. It's 36 minutes long. Like I said, it's going to be a deep dive. And we're going to view this from the point of view that he's guilty and examine why he might be saying what he's saying. And then uh, after this is another video I'm going to play. So we're going to do this for like, uh, it's at least 90 minutes of clips. So uh, buckle in. Here we go. Here's this video from yesterday something uh, personal that I'm forced to talk about at this point. It's uh, I've been wanting to keep it relatively calmer and sure. less uh, less public, but uh, I've been forced by the by the various events because people have discovered about it, and so I might as well talk about it. Yeah, because the police put out a bolo, be on the lookout for her. Her family is scared to death. Everybody's looking for her. So yeah, you need to talk about it, JF. Instead of letting rumors develop and all of the uh, all of the messy information that can step uh, that can stem from it. Um, so yeah, it's the disappearance of Mama JF. Mama JF has been disappearing. In the sense of not leaving, uh, not leaving any contact, not leaving information about where she was, uh, and I titled my episode "The Cost of Liberty" because I didn't want any of this. I'm just a family guy, and I've always been wanting to provide and secure for people around me. Uh, but there is one thing I cannot do in our society. I cannot stop you from doing crazy stuff. I cannot stop you from exposing yourself to risks when 
you say the words I want to do it. When, when you claim your own liberty, you are on your own and I cannot do anything. Yeah, one of his entire points is that women have too much liberty. Maybe they shouldn't have too, this much liberty because they make bad decisions and they make themselves unsafe. And we need to go back to the other old times where men controlled women. But yes, he seems very calm. It's been four months. And undoubtedly, he knew for the last four months that he's going to have to explain all this. So if you're looking at this from the point he's guilty, which we're just speculating once again, he's had four months to come up with a story, to work it out all in his head, to stay up late at night and think about every word he's going to say. And this is the narrative he's putting forward. Hey, I couldn't stop her. She wanted to leave her family, never see us again, and just disappear off the face of the earth. That's her right. But like... Does this make sense? If you have a girl that looks like she's mentally impaired and she's just got camping equipment, no credit cards, are you going to take her, just drop her off so she can just uh, be in danger? Or are you going to contact her family? You're going to be like, yeah, um, she doesn't seem to be doing well. She seems to be having this kind of mental episode. Somebody, she doesn't want to be with me anymore, but somebody needs to know where she is and what she's doing so they can look after her. That's what any responsible, caring person would do, in my opinion. You wouldn't just go drop somebody off with no money with a, a, a tent who's the mother of your children and your wife and just leave, abandon them. Like, you wouldn't do that, right? So, already, I'm calling bullshit on the story. But maybe, maybe he's just a psychopath and don't give a shit. To protect you. And so, <clears throat> that, uh, I don't know if Mama Jeff is in danger. I don't know where she is. What care. Uh, but at this point, I'm forced to talk about it because people are spreading rumors on the internet. Because, so, so I, I'll just give you my <coughs> my perspective on all of this, and and you know, people are are accusing me of murder on on the internet. It's like you guys don't know. You guys don't know the police. I've been speaking with the feds on an everyday basis. Oh, yeah, that... uh, for a couple of days now. Yeah, most murderers do that for maybe uh, I, I don't know, maybe a couple of days. For a couple of days, I've been speaking uh, to the police <coughs> on a regular basis. So it all stems from Mama JF, you guys know, and I've stated it publicly. In June, she left. She didn't want. Uh, she. I mean, it's not even clear why she left. And she's done it in the past. You guys have seen it, who have been following the show for years. Uh, she she wanted to go away. So that's, that's all uh, we often know with Mama JF. She wants to go away. She had done it once and had come back uh, to us um, weeks after. Uh, and you'll remember, she, she came on the show on the day she came back. And she said something along the lines of, uh, well, I thought you, want, you didn't want to be with me anymore. Uh, and so, <clears throat> and, and I said to her, no, no, you left of your own will. Uh, but, but she says, yes. And then she says, yes, but I thought, I thought you wanted me to leave. That is sometimes the, the state of delusion in female minds and I can't do anything about this. I have zero control over this. If we were in the society, the Christian society of 1920, maybe I could file some report and say, hey, my wife is a little crazy. She's a little out there. Can I control? Can, can I own her, basically? Uh, but you literally could, though. If she's a little crazy. She's wondering, hey, I, I, she, I don't know where she's going. I just want somebody to know this is what's happening. So they can look after her because she doesn't want me to do it. Like, that is the minimum I would think you would do for your wife. Uh, but a big part of his uh, manosphere personality is what he's saying right here. We should go back to the times where women don't have say-so over their lives and men control them. And you read his audience, and they are 100% behind him on this. They literally hate women. <laughs> and I'm sure that, that there were, uh, I mean, basically you didn't have to file that paper in 1920s because in, in the 1920s, this was called marriage. <laughs> but we are not in the Amazing. 1920s and we are in 2023 where it's better. Uh, we have better. an experiment going on in society. Yeah, what freedom for women. Oh, what an experiment. What happens when you let these females do whatever the fuck they want yeah, when you let females do whatever the fuck they want imagine that well, <clears throat> what happens is that they sometimes make bad decisions so um in june she left 
Um, Four much, y'all. And two days after leaving, mm -hmm. so she left and she had a whole plan. She had, she had bought uh, camping material. She was on her way to some sort of survivalist trip. From what I understood, it looked like she was preparing for life in the wild. Uh, she promised me when Seems she legit. left that she would always be reachable and that I would be able to reach her to deal with all of the official papers, you know, uh -huh. that she owns a lot of stuff, and sometimes I need her signature. And yeah, I owns a lot of stuff, has two kids, just left it all, folks. It disappeared off the grid, and he has no clue what happened. That's the story. I was like, and, and although, you know, we, we do have legal remedies for this, I was like, uh, if you totally disappear, you might put me in trouble on some bills, on some, you know, get... Already suspecting she's going to totally disappear. Which seems odd, an odd thing to think. Hey, I'm never going to see you again. You're totally going to disappear off the face of the map. Who would think that? Thing utilities and everything. So, so she promised to me that she wouldn't fully disappear. Um, and um, she went away. And two days later, she she talked to me on the phone and said, "So let's say he's guilty. Speculation." He would have her phone, so he'd, he'd be able to send messages back and forth. Of course, he'd have to worry about the triangulation of the cell towers. So who knows where he might have driven to use her phone, driven back to use his phone to make it look like uh, they're interacting back and forth. Once again, no evidence. I'm just speculating on how one might try to get away with this crime. JF thinks he's incredibly smart, thinks he's a fucking genius, he's an egomaniac. This is the exact type of person you would think would try to pull off some getting away with murder type bullshit. Sent a message. But by the way, everything I, I tell you is things I have told to the police. So it's. Uh, and this is exactly his narrative he's trying to get out so the police listen to what he's saying right now, clearly. It's not. Uh, there's no secret coming out that you guys are hearing. To, it might be secret from a public perspective, but it's all things that the feds have been knowing for a couple of days. So the last uh, message that she sends me uh, in June, two days after leaving, mm -hmm. and it had been apparent, I think I, I may have been in contact for a couple of times during these two days, so I was sure that she was progressing through whatever trip she wanted to do. Well, they released the text messages. Let us see what you're talking about, because I don't fucking believe you. I knew that she was still alive. Uh, but two days uh, after leaving... She says, I have changed my plans. I will not hold my promise uh, toward you. Mm. I will not be reachable. And uh, so all of a sudden, she messages him like, I'm throwing my cell phone away. You're never going to hear from me again. And it disappears. That's the story, folks. Uh, and it's like, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. I, uh, she says, I have a new plan. Well, that's immediately when you contact her family or anybody you know and say, hey, this is what you said. Somebody needs to look after her so she doesn't just end up in a bad situation. If you cared about her at all. And I'm like, does your new plan involve any sort of attack against me or the family? Because you guys know how, uh -huh. how, how important that is to me. Right. How could she attack you? What does she know that you don't want the public to know? She says, you don't have to be worried. My new plan does not involve you. I'm just going to change cell phone. Now, I knew that she had left without any sort of electronic tracking. You know how the police can track you with your credit card, with uh -huh. your debit card. She had left with nothing but her phone. Right. She left with nothing but her phone. No credit. She's been married to you for a while, has two kids with you, has a ton of shit. At your house that belongs to her. And she left with no credit card? That's your story here. So when she said that to me through text, I concluded, okay, she's going off grid. You know, she's going full survivalism. Makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of in her, in, in her fashion. I mean, oh, that's totally. the way Mama JF is. Mm. So changing her phone, to me, it meant I'm... I'm dropping potentially my own identity behind. I'm potentially disappearing in nature. Uh -huh. I'm potentially, I mean, she could. So in my mind, he's setting the background for his defense. 
he may be thinking they're never going to find her body, so they can't really charge me with the crime without the body. So if you ever watch true crime, this is what they do a lot of times. When they don't find the body, the men who kill these women just claim, oh, they're still alive somewhere. That's my defense. I am claiming that they're not even dead. So how are you going to charge me with their murder if they're not even dead? If you haven't found a body, so I think they're going to come back alive someday. 100% he's trying to set up his defense for the trial, in my opinion. It would be anywhere from there. Uh, so... And that's what I was explaining to the police, you know, Mama JF. Uh, you, you remember the story she told on her video on YouTube where she talked about crossing the border in, in Spain and in the enclaves of Spain in North Africa? Mama JF is a fucking extreme, like, 007 level of, like fugitive mentality uh, that's right this woman we just saw this woman who seems mentally impaired is basically 007 can change identities disappear in a heartbeat nobody will ever find her super genius this woman we all just recognized has something r real weird going on uh, and I, w I was kind of telling that to the police uh jokingly half jokingly so but funny. it's like she she's, <laughs> she's a missing professional fugitive who Definitely. doesn't commit crimes uh -huh. so like, <laughs> she's gonna be hiding from you as totally believable as hard as she can no uh, she doesn't want you to find her she's such a genius cops you'll never find her but she's still alive though i didn't kill her uh, also not having anything to reproach to herself but that's just how she is so i mean she, she and so from there i'm like I'm going to drop myself behind. I'm going to disappear. Uh, you're not going to be able to reach me. Uh-huh. So that is uh, what I've been knowing since oh. June. And I didn't tell of course anybody. you're faced with the big Uh-huh. Should I call the police? Yes, this yes, you should call the police. Your wife, the mother of your two kids has been missing for 4 months. Yes, you fucking asshole. Call the goddamn police. This is a willing woman, a willing adult woman doing her willing stuff. So I've not called the police because in my view, there was no evidence of criminality. Uh -huh. There was no evidence of distress. It looked like to me, someone who has decided to go survivalism. Will I report totally. someone for being survivalist? I mean, the, the I'm the good guy here for not reporting her. She's a woman, she has her freedom. I didn't want to invade her privacy, so psh. This reminds me of the of the Facebook post, you know, it, as one of your loved ones gone to survivalism, as one of your loved one bought too much camping material. <laughs> that is literally one of the Facebook. <laughs> My wife is missing. <laughs> book post, but I don't want to be in the society where buying camping material gets you reported to the feds. Yeah, it's. A good reason I didn't report my missing wife because I don't want to get her in trouble for buying camping material. It just makes sense, y'all. And I am bound. I am bound to Mama JF Santeras because I've loved her and I still love her and I still consider I, I consider myself allied to her forever. Uh, forever, no matter what she does, even if she goes out there going getting other boyfriends. I consider myself tied to her forever. Mm -hmm. So at this point, I'm tied in front of forever. this information. And I've decided that this was not warranting a call to the police mm, in June. And in I've June. spoke to her. I've spoken to her family. Uh-huh. I'm sure you have. And they thought similarly, you know, this is Mama JF. Uh, oh, I'm sure they did. <clears throat> she is an out there woman and uh, it's that's not that's why they call the cops and the cops have been at your house every day for four days because they believe you the first time she does this uh in the absence of any evidence of harm or that she's she's doing something evil to someone else uh -huh. there's no reason to call the police right. and in fact we even had someone in the family mm. Uh, talked loosely to a federal investigator Definitely this happened. who was friends with us uh -huh. and just asking, you know, what is this? Is this a disappearance what or is, is this just a woman? Uh, just, a woman. <laughs> <laughs> just a woman doing whatever she wants. Uh huh. And, and, and the, the investigator had actually, I mean, from what I heard, uh, this is not an interaction that I had myself, mm. but someone who was worried in the family spoke to an investigator. Totally. 
Ends had a uh, look. Book. This, those are the facts. Mm -hmm. It's a woman. She it's leaves woman. like this. She wanted to leave. She gets herself equipped with camping material and all. Mm -hmm. Is this a disappearance? Is this something is. we should signal? Yes. Yes, it is. And uh, the investigator had said, well, no, this looks like a, a, a consensual trip. Definitely. The investigator that totally exists says, ah, she disappeared, left her two kids behind and all her stuff with no credit cards, a way to be tracked or traced. Totally normal. So I was reassured that not only was my judgment mm -hmm. uh, converging toward uh, the fact that Mama JF does not need help He's and the hero that here. she she's a free woman she mm -hmm. can decide to do this uh, and also the, these uh, there was these social signals reinforcing that I, I wasn't the only one thinking this other people were thinking this also mm -hmm. totally absolutely so that was the state in june and july but oh. then you know the months pass and yeah. now we're in october uh -huh, we are. when is it that worries are justified and so there was yeah, immediately a building up of stress uh -huh. in the people who love her right and my position has always been to all of these people if only you had some kind of public platform you could have asked the public's help to find her any friend of Mama JF and to any person involved, uh -huh. my position has been, I saw her go. Mm -hmm. I saw her wanting to, to go. Definitely. And saw so her go toward the light. Well, I, I don't need to call the police. Nah, but if I'm you sorry, feel you that didn't. it warrants a call to the police, I respect you and you go ahead and mm -hmm. call them. I'm not going to call and them, but you call I will them. not say who ended up calling, but someone. Someone ended up noticing that, that somehow Mama JF was missing. Yeah, and, I'm glad somebody noticed. And, and maybe knew about me. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm glad somebody cared about her. You certainly don't seem to. I don't know exactly how it all happened, but someone ended up noticing, hey, there's this girl and her loved ones are, don't know where she is. Or care. And so all. they made a call to the police and this launched a whole investigation yeah, uh, that has been that i've been involved in uh -huh. for right i don't know maybe four days uh-huh five days i don't know uh but the feds are coming regularly at my house good they are waking me in the morning <laughs> i <laughs> sleep late uh, and all of my loved ones sleep late or just that way we are yeah, right we are we computer like programmers babies. living in the night we have nothing to worry about not we killed anybody or anything you know that is just what we do and i'm a man of the internet my show is at 7 p.m eastern time and it's not even the end of my day mm -hmm. uh so yeah so they they wake me up every morning uh there are days where they come once where there are days where they come twice um there is always a truck of the feds um in front of my house oh, it sounds like they totally believe you then right your story's tracking with them for sure they got a fucking truck out in front of your house all the time coming every day knocking on your door yeah dude you're a fucking suspect uh, and you know i <clears throat> there, there's lots of people making jokes right now on the social media like you. jeff where did you hide the body and all i knew that this was it? coming to this no matter what because yeah, yeah, right? we live in a society that just can't accept the cost of liberty now oh, the cost the of liberty folks hey this is what you get when you let women do what they want to do hey i don't like it i think women should be under the thumb of the men have no say so but you guys want women to be free so this is what you get women just disappear it's your fault society cost of liberty is you're gonna have a bunch of females make terrible decisions but no i have not killed mama jf uh -huh. and i would be very surprised that i'm even considered a suspect uh, you'll be very surprised if you're considered a suspect you got the feds camped out in a truck outside your house, and they're there twice a day for four days in a row. And you're surprised you'd be a suspect. Really? Now, you're stupid, but you're not this fucking stupid. Uh, in any way. Uh, because I have left records. I have left electronic traces of my they? dropping her alive uh -huh. uh, in front of cameras of a, of a gas station. And... Mm -hmm. There has been plenty of electronic right. records of the fact that she was alive many days Show after them. leaving. Prove it. Release them. You have them. Release them right fucking now. Why aren't you releasing them? Do everything you can to prove your innocence and bring this woman home. Me uh, after, after asking me to drop her at a certain location. 
uh so um and yes you know that there are so many cameras these days and uh -huh. credit cards right. purchases that i can prove i would be very surprised you said you didn't have a credit card that i'm anyhow considered a suspect but the feds are still very uh thirsty for information yeah so they they keep coming back and honestly i'm very impressed by the mm -hmm. quality of their work but it's like Hey, I respect you, cops. I respect you. Just do your job. It's all good. They understand also that I'm I'm a guy on the internet, so uh, I'm not. <laughs> I have a high security home. I'm not going to let them in. You know. I've but... actually heard. I don't know if this is true, but I've heard other people that have been in his house that say his house is a train wreck. They live like squatters, basically. The entire place is a mess, and the outside is uh, overgrown. It's a pigsty. It's like okay, they they want to they want every possible detail they can have about Mama JF because they they are on this program of finding Mama JF and and it's fascinating to see a bunch of professionals like this who really are interested in her safety. Let oh, me yeah. tell you, it's really interesting to see somebody who actually gives a shit about my wife and mother of my two children because Lord knows it ain't me. I'm I'm a hostile to the government in general, uh -huh. but Killer, I, I've always arm. known that within the police force, the vast majority of policemen are excellent, uh, definitely just excellent workers and professionals. And I see it. I see it in my interactions with them. They they understand everything. So uh, yeah. So that means yeah, they they are coming to me and they want. They want to know exactly what she said before leaving. Uh -huh. They want traces of where were you when you dropped her? Right. Who could know her? Who are her friends? Mm -hmm. And it's like uh, I pulled Mama JF out of uh, out of a lifestyle. Now she about to he about to paint her as like a crackhead, like she probably just went off and, and doing drugs in a ditch somewhere. I have no idea. It's her fault. Completely her fault. And. I, I never really got acquainted with this lifestyle. You know, I'm not the kind of... I, I don't have respect for human beings, especially not homeless druggies, you know? Mm. So it's... I'm not the kind of guy who... Keep talking? Will, uh, ...will approach a female and mm. become friends with her male friends. Mm. Uh, so what so I did possessive. with Mama JF is I extracted her from her misery. Okay, that's exactly and, what every like cult leader, every abusive relationship, they extract you, they isolate you, uh, they're jealous, uh, they're abusive. ...from her lifestyle. And I brought her to a greater lifestyle, cleaner, uh, you know, less... Uh, Less craziness. Definitely less crazy than this uh, motherfucker. So that is uh, that is what I've done. And so when they ask me where Ebro. could she be, is she friends with this guy? Is she friends with these guys? It's like I have just a general idea that Mama Jeff is a super social creature of Montreal, and that's what I've been telling. And yet no one's seen her. Them. Um, and uh, yeah, so that that. That's been uh, so the feds being extremely, you know, on their path of we need to save everyone. Uh, yeah. We need to. Why would they do that? Save everyone. Uh, and, and I'm like, it's amazing to see the conversations between them and me because I bet I'm actually less motivated at finding Mama Jeff than they are. Yeah. I've never requested any of this. <laughs> yeah, I want I to be clear. I bet you're way less interested in finding Mama Jeff than the cops are. God damn. If Mama JF is out there listening to this. I uh -huh. want to be clear to, with you, Mama JF. Mm -hmm. I've not been requesting an investigation against you. We know, Jeff. I've not been trying to send the feds after you. We know. I've not been uh, wanting to do this episode even. I'm forced to do this episode forced. because there are forum posts right now. Right. That your face is on whatever the feds have published and, uh -huh. and so you're missing and, and then people are, are are looking at my tweet today and forming people about this uh, and they're like well look he, he calls her mama jf he doesn't even call her by a real name uh -huh. so he's not really interested at them finding her right you're not it's like the, there's a lot a lot of interest to wade in here first there's not 
Release her name, release her picture, say, hey, she's missing. People think that she might be in trouble. Please help me find her. At least, if, for the very least, I want to clear my name. I don't want people to think I killed her. So here's her name. Here's her picture. Please, if you've seen her, now you're my fan base. You know her the best. Please look out for her. That, that is what anybody who is innocent in this situation would do, you would think. By naming Mama JF a way that I've never named her publicly, I would only be misleading people. The fact is... He's, like, he's giving excuses right now for why he won't release her real name or her pictures. Is there any logical excuse for what he's saying right now? Does this make any sense for an innocent man to say? So everyone who interacts with me through this platform knows Mama JF as Mama JF. So the, that's her name for you guys. I'm not going to reveal her real name because, honestly, I, I don't even know if she wants to mm. be found. Mm -hmm. and, and that is something you have to wait when, when you're in this situation. Definitely. I am a bearer of the interest of Mama JF. He's a hero, y'all. Maybe she doesn't want to be found. Uh -huh. Maybe she, she's on a huge trip, uh, whatever, thinking, going to parties. Maybe she's going to Woodstock in the U.S. I, I have no clue. Definitely. But maybe At she Woodstock, doesn't want to be found, and that's part of her liberty that I have to defend. He respects her too much to try to find her. I'm not going to... Uh, not going to act like these uh, worried families who want to help someone more than they want to be helped. Because one thing I have yeah, her family. learned that enormous cost in my life is don't help someone who doesn't want to be helped. Mm -hmm. And so I, I'm, I'm like to these feds, I'm like, please, please understand, you're going to pursue a fugitive who has committed zero crime. Uh, that's not a fugitive. She's going to be... She's going to be playing with you, sending you on false traces. She's going to have her hoodie. Definitely! The woman we just saw is such a genius. She's going to outsmart you, cops. She's going to send you on wild goose chases here and there. She's 10 steps ahead of you, the super genius. Hiding herself from facial recognition cameras Definitely. everywhere she ends. That's why you're not seeing her facial recognition cameras that are everywhere across Canada. She's hiding her face purposely. She's basically like fucking James Bond 007. She has dropped all of her electronics behind. Uh -huh. She's basically 007. She's 007 but she y has no mission. No. And she's not fleeing you guys for a crime that she did because she's a good person. Mm -hmm. She's not going to commit a crime. That's the situation. You guys want to have fun finding her to be sure that she's safe? You go ahead. But uh, I know I know Will when I see it, uh -huh. and her will was to go out there and and for whatever right. period leave her two kids behind, leave all her stuff behind, take no credit cards, and just disappear off the face of the earth and play cat and mouse with the cops and be ten steps behind them. That's what I really believe is happening, folks. And I don't care what her family says about being worried for her and wanting to find her. I don't even care if people think that I'm a murderer. I'm still not going to release her name or get you guys to help me find her in any meaningful way. Yeah, I didn't know when she left whether it would be a two week period like last time, uh -huh. or whether it would be a two year period. She could be on a container traveling toward Morocco right now. And you just said you could tell by her will she was going to disappear off the face of the earth. Now you're saying you thought she might come back in two weeks? She, she, could, have dealt, uh, she could have dealt with the locals at the port. She could have talked to a, a boat driver and give him some money Definitely. and get on the boat. Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck I mean. knows? And so that is, uh, that is the situation. And... To, to people who are saying, well, he doesn't make all efforts to find her. He doesn't name her in her tweet uh -huh. or he doesn't show a photo of her. I'm not going to show a photo of her or name her when this is not my quest. This is not my quest. I had a, I had a visual confirmation from Mama JF live in front of me that she wanted to go away. Now you guys know I had to cover this. This shit is the most suspect video i've ever seen this is crazy he's literally making himself look so guilty right now what a fucking idiot and he builds himself as a genius and his fans call him a genius okay even if he's innocent this is not the work of a genius anybody with 
two brain cells to rub together would have got a goddamn lawyer and never put this video out there. As far as I'm concerned, she's still in a trip. Uh -huh. She's still out there just tripping. And, uh, right. Uh, and I'm not going to publish her image mm. because I don't know whether she consents to right. it. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why. I'm not going to name her name because uh -huh. I don't know if she consents totally. to it. You respect her so if much. If she wants to call me and say, Jeff, I want to be found or Jeff, I don't want to be found, she could do it and she can do it. Right. So, yeah. Well, uh, unless she does that, then assume she wants to be found or her family needs to know where she is or you want to clear your name and do whatever you can to help find her, your wife, uh, the mother of your two children. Uh, what I said in my tweet is, if you guys want to help the police and you've seen Mama JF somewhere, uh -huh. you, you've you seen her at a gas station. I'm not going to say her real name or show you her picture, but hey, if you've seen her, then you can contact the police or email me directly. You can be assured. I'm going to forward that right to the police, y'all. And you've seen someone who looks like her, you just call the police or, or check my tweet and you will find a proton mail uh, email address mm -hmm. if you don't want to be in contact with the police mm -hmm. just send me an email and i can relay any information that i think is relevant uh, or factual totally gonna do that i'm not well. going to relay trolling so you uh, guys can already forget the idea of trolling me uh i'm going to relay what seems to be uh what seems to be important but mm -hmm. it's Probably Mama JF is out there having fun, uh, probably exposing herself to huge risks. You know, there, so, there see, he's putting out his defense right here. He's repeating it over and over again. I think she's still alive. I think she's back out there. But hey, she chose to do this. She put herself at huge risk. Well, if you believe she's out there putting herself at huge risk, then why do you not want to find her? Why are you not making more of an effort? It doesn't make sense. Your words aren't meshing. The risks of street life and anonymous life the find her. when no one is there to care for you you are at risk because no one knows no no one knows if someone has raped you and just put your body in in a ditch yeah if she is dead i didn't do it it was somebody else and no one is there to check that, that that's the consequence of anonymity that's the consequence of having no one that is the cost of liberty cost of liberty but we've chosen to and Mama JF has fully chosen to, to run with that cost. So it's like she her has fault. her husband right here, ready to care for her, uh -huh. ready to give her security and comfort and not demanding anything from her. She chose to expose herself to whatever risk it is, and her she totally has the right to do so. Uh, Shadow Ban says, if someone could get away with murder, it's JF. But if someone could get away with faking their death, it's Mama JF. So he got to ignore the first part, that he could get away with murder, and just concentrate on the second part, that she could disappear without anybody knowing. <laughs> <laughs> we are laughing. That so is funny. absolutely correct. Yeah, I, mean, I could get away with murdering her. That is so funny. You, you you have found an interesting duality right here. Mm -hmm. uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Totally the style of Mama JF to basically fake her death. Well, or... no, what about the first part where you say you get away with killing her? Why aren't you talking about the first part he said? To just disappear in a way that she can switch identity. I mean, she's... Uh... And it's amazing because Mama JF doesn't watch movies like mm. CSI oh, and really? 007. Uh-huh. Or... And, and yeah, she doesn't watch James Bond and gets excited at it. Mm -hmm. But her life is a James Bond movie Definitely. of its own. <laughs> right. We've just seen her. We see what she's like. She's literally mentally deficient. She is not goddamn James Bond or some kind of secret spy genius. <laughs> that is what is so amazing. Holy shit. What a, what a crazy woman. Who, but, you know, out of the crazy woman who have been in my life, uh she has always been um morally straight you know she's been missing for four months he just now is letting anybody know about it oh uh yes all of this disappearance uh is causing some kind of shake up and chaotic thing in my life i mean uh, i'm getting think? woken up by the feds yeah, every morning do that to you. They're, they're knocking at my window and i'm like what <laughs> 
but I I'd much rather this. <laughs> yeah, they're looking for my wife. It's so funny. Why are you laughing? Then, uh, then evil stuff. Then attacks on loved ones. I would much rather the chaotic nature of Mama Jeff, but with a kind of moral pillar to it. Than uh, anything, uh, anything else, anything more evil. Forex says often when worried families get the state involved to save or help someone, they make it significantly worse for the person. Yeah, it's a, it's a good thing. Or it'd be better if they did try to find her. I guess is the point of this. There's very little help the state can give to a person against their own will. That is very wise. And that is what I was telling the policeman, you know? Wherever Mama JF is, it was our choice to be there. And it was our choice to run these risks. And she would hate it to hear that all of these people are looking for her. So now there's a whole <laughs> national true. campaign. Yeah, she would hate it to know a lot of people care about her and her family loves her and misses her and wants to make sure that she's okay. She would hate it so much, y'all. <clears throat> to find Mama JF, and I will ask Mama JF and you guys, just to calm all these people, can you please collaborate? Like, go ahead and just, just, if you've seen Mama JF alive and you can reassure everyone and you can calm these people and you can make so the feds don't knock on my door on an, on an everyday basis. Right. Well, show us her picture. That Give would her be name. very appreciated. Uh, as far as I know from this investigation, as far as my interaction with the police, I understand it to be. They are not interested in any form of persecution of me, of Mama JF. They are just interested at establishing that Mama JF is alive. Right, at first. And then when they can't do that, they move on to who did it. Have you never watched any true crime ever? So Mama JF, uh, if you hear this, uh, you have a chance there to calm all these people down. Mm -hmm. uh, only with a word from you, I'm sure they would be reassured. Definitely. Uh, Silver Spider says, Jeff is such a loyal guy. I really hope he finds a loyal wife. <laughs> we should pull all of our super chats together and order him one from Japan. Oh, great. By talking about wives from Japan. I nice. Mean, Yes, Martin Shkreli. Oh, my God. Yep, this is Hero. He scored. He scored the uh, ultimate jaw-having Asian. I have never seen this, ladies and gentlemen. The sexy body of the neotenic Asian combined with the perfect jaw of the European genetics. How? How the hell, where the hell does Martin Shkreli find such perfection? Tiffany Fong is new girlfriend of Martin Shkreli. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm so happy for you, Martin. You look real happy. I'm so happy. So happy. Uh, Daryl says that's almost too much. Ja I mean, th this is the point at which uh, it's almost there. Uh, Balloon Nut says, uh, sends 10 bucks. Thank you so much. He says, are you serious? Did Mama JF really leave the family for no other reason than to be a drifter? I mean, it looks like it. It looks like it. No, it doesn't. It looks like you killed her. That's what it looks like. It does not at all look like she would have left all her stuff behind and her two kids to disappear on the face of the earth. Um, <laughs> I mean, you... You guys know we have seen her here on the show uh, <laughs> <You know. laughs> leaving uh, back like a year or two ago. And we have seen remember, her again. Remember, she did it before. Probably the same as before. Remember? And disappearing. Repeated and, over and over again. You know, this just, just before she left in June, I remember a bizarre show. A bizarre show where yeah, I, I... I remember a bizarre show too. This one, motherfucker. Used her of terrorism. Uh, because she tried to enter the studio with something that I do not allow at all on this show. Like, at all. And she knows it very well that there will never be. 
a gun? Such things on this show. So you have a gun in the house? And she attempted to surprise me by surprise opening the door of the studio and came running to my camera. With a gun? And I had the I had the chance to turn off the camera just mm. before she arrived to me because it's like uh -huh. it's like two meters. The, she did a two meter run to try to violate one of the ultimate rule of the show. A rule so intense that you guys cannot even ever hear it. That you guys cannot e that, that I can cannot even tell you what the rule is. Uh, and normal, totally normal it's shit. It's like, and then I said, Mama JF, uh, you you're banned from the show for a couple of weeks because that was actual terrorism. Uh, you have attempted to terrorize me and uh, <laughs> this motherfucker yeah so so that was uh that was maybe weeks before she left oh really um Happened right I, before? I don't know that huh. it's directly related but i oh, think that yeah. she was starting to so that's why you didn't see her you guys haven't seen her for weeks uh that's why kind of be in a mood of party and in her party mood she had forgotten that there are serious rules in papa jf's uh house uh so yes so yes. that is basically how i have to say and That's this story is so waiting on my mind that uh yeah. i don't think i can uh, it's so waiting on my mind that i didn't mention it for four months i don't think i can continue the show tonight with news or stuff yeah you of, seem real uh, stressed all the laughing. of a frivolous nature that this is too much on my mind and mm -hmm. that is why i had to take a break also two days ago it's definitely because, man uh just waking up early oh is God. something that I had the privilege in my life uh -huh. to attain such a degree of luxury. Right. That I can wake up whenever I want. Okay, but now you have two kids and no wife, so who is waking up and taking care of your kids? Whenever I feel like, all the time. But for four or five days, I'm back to a, you know, waking up at 9 a.m. Uh, because the feds are... And they, they knock for a long time, you know, <laughs> before they wake me up. <laughs> the cops looking for my uh, so wife. It's been, uh, my door it's so been long, tiring yeah. me because <laughs> when, you, when you change my sleep schedule where mm -hmm. I'm super used to I dare you. this very long sleep where I'm fully rested, now suddenly you, you mess up my normal sleep mm -hmm. and suddenly I'm more tired. So sleepy. Uh, so any information life. would be appreciated yeah, to well, calm all of these okay, people. Okay, give her name and the picture. And uh, right? it will have been a short show for tonight, uh -huh. but um, that's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. Okay, that was way uh, too much. I can read actually what I wrote today on Twitter. The police in Canada is looking for Mama JF because in true Mama JF fashion, she has left our home in June and has disappeared from the map. I am sure that Mama JF is fine. I know she has been safe for at least two days after I dropped her where she wanted in June. Mama JF left our home entirely voluntarily Definitely. to go live a life of adventure wherever it would bring her. As you do, leave your kids. Uh, but since everything. she has electronically disappeared, oh, really? not connecting to her cell phone or that's, updating me or weird. her family. I ask anyone who would have encountered her to just notify the police so that they can know she is safe. Mm -hmm. And I ask her if she wants to leave a note to the police, me or her family, to ensure everyone of her safety. Holy shit, this is every true crime ever. If you want to send an encrypted tip anonymously, I can receive them at jfgaryep at proton dot. Gonna pass it right along, folks. And uh, someone was asking, did everyone's girl lose her shit this summer? Mine went full postpartum bunkers in August. And I said, that's the cost of female liberty. 50,000 policemen, full-time salary, nationwide searches, we could feed the homeless a billion times. Yeah, if we would just get rid of that female liberty. Look how awful the female liberty is. We have, have all these extra policemen to look for these women. Psh, you motherfuckers did this. Uh, <laughs> just take our society and mm -hmm. 
Just allow some degree of control by husbands onto their wives. Mm -hmm. Just basic control Just of basic some control. little financial aspects. Mm. Some like, no, you won't travel to uh, Peru. Uh -huh. And so I'm going to decide for you that you won't travel to Peru. Uh -huh. Just allow some form of control of oh. husbands uh -huh. over their wives. Mm. And you're not going to get events like the Mama JF craziness here. Uh huh. But Definitely not the words of somebody that would kill their wife. If you want that female liberty, Papa Jeff can provide. And because we are in a liberal society, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to stand by the ideals of our society. He's single, ladies. Now. And the ideals of our society first is, I cannot keep a woman against her will. I cannot, I cannot go against her request. I cannot intimidate her to stay with me. I cannot manipulate her emotionally to be one way or another. And mm. so what are the tools I have left as a man? The tools nice, I have guns, left is, guessing. all right, I respect your liberty. You, you want to go out there and do, do your crazy lifestyle? Where do you want me to drop you? I, I will drop you in the safest way and place I can. Drop you right in whatever but that is all I can I do. And that is the cost of liberty. Thank you so much for listening, everyone, and much love. Uh, I'm personally uh, very confident that this is a, a big scare, and I hope that Mama JF understands that she is causing too much scare. That's right. It's your fault, Mama JF. All that scare you're causing. So I watched that, and I was like, holy shit. I've never seen anybody look more guilty. Like... Oh. All my true crime watching, this is true crime 101. This is what they always do. I don't know where she is, but she's probably still alive, and I'm innocent. Usually they try hard to find her, though. So then, you know me, uh, I deep diving into it, investigating, doing a little journalism. The next thing I did was say, okay, well, what day did she go missing? She went missing on June 17th. And so I was like, well, let me watch the video he made right after she went missing. To see if there are any clues to his behavior, anything he says that's suspect. So now I'm going to play about 15 minutes of this uh, clip, this video he made, three days after she went missing, folks. It's a video called False Declarations of Love, where the entire point of the video is him defending Andrew Tate against rape and uh, sex trafficking allegations which is just mwah, mwah, par for the fucking course. So here we go. Here is the video that he released three days after she went missing. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Jeff G Tonight. I'm back after three days of vacation. It's good to be back on the internet. Let me tell you, it's really not part of my habit to be gone from the internet, but I had to, and I will explain why. But before that, if you want to be blackpilled, Justin, the Pentagon says accounting error provides extra 6.2 billion for Ukraine military aid. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it's missing? like this monopoly <laughs> card. Like, oh, you get uh, you get fifty dollars for free due to an error of the bank. Can't believe this. But I mean, I, I, I scroll down, and what do I see? I see a woman saying that could have paid for a lot of gender affirming care during Pride Month. Can you believe that you are that your brain is in that place where you're like, okay, a big loss has happened for the US government and the only thing you can think of since it's a loss where we've sent by error six point two billion dollars to Zelensky and the only thing that comes to your mind is, oh my God, we could have made so much sex change surgery onto people with this. If you are not blackpilled, you should be starting now. Uh, the reason I was away from, uh, from the show is that uh -huh. uh, there were big changes here uh -huh. in the home. Mama JF has abandoned the mm. family once again. Mm. Uh, it's really too bad. It sucks. Um, and it's not something that I wanted, but it is just, uh, that's just what it is. I mean, I've been covering for 
for many years how women are just unstable. And as long as you don't constrain them legally to stay with you, they will choose, uh, they will choose to become a crack whore on the street before they choose a stable relationship. Mm -hmm. So it's as simple as this. They hate women, folks. They have no respect for them at all. The exact type of person you would think would have no problem killing them. Civilization is either a polygamous crack whore based civilization or it's a marriage based one and men must be the one just forcing it. We have to force it. We have to give it. up our principles for choice and liberty. And that's just what it is. Now, uh, I will not say anything bad about Mama JF. She has been a hundred. You got repeatedly refer to her as a crackhead or insinuate that she's a crackhead in her leaving so i'm not even going to comment on the details and all but as happened last time i will simply repeat the same thing um i did not choose this i, I truly believe in monogamy and uh, full full devotion to each other and yet i'm faced with a world of females who who follow their whims and emotions and so be it you know it's uh she was honorable in the process and that she didn't do anything to destroy me or so he's trying to sit down his fence here first of all he's trying to be like hey i wasn't mad about it hey we left amicably she was very uh nice about it nice about leaving so it's not like i was angry i accepted it it was fine but this is exactly what you would think somebody who's trying to set up their defense would say to destroy the family and so credit and uh that's it uh, i'm continuing life these three days i needed them to rearrange my setup things are different when uh, when there's not someone around i uh -huh. need to set up different things uh -huh. uh, that relates to my tasks in the home i now i'm i'm now in charge of keeping the home clean and everything and and honestly, it's like it's a takeover of the home in terms of because Mama JF, I was giving her full reign into determining how the home would be placed and the, the, the various care that she would have to do. She was determining what she was doing. But now that I'm uh, the head of the home, I like things a little cleaner. I like things a little more orderly. I like things, uh, if, if you don't use something, I want it in the trash. You He's 100% setting up his offense on why he cleaned the house. Hey, it's totally normal. I cleaned the house, sterilized everything, uh, did work on the walls right when she let, disappeared. It's not because I'm guilty, y'all, but here's my built-in excuse for when the cops, who I know eventually are going to come looking for, and they're going to be like, what, what does that smell? Bleach is everywhere? What? Here's your excuse for why you did it. You know, I'm, I'm a guy of, uh, I want access to everything. Mama Jeff would constantly uh, pack the fridge with all of her vegetables and stuff. She, it's like I wouldn't eat. I, I don't know if, if she would eat it, but uh, I'm more like a guy. I want an empty fridge where I can access Body each parts. of the important ingredients, ketchup, relish, mustard. Severed head. And I don't want anything more. I don't want anything more. Uh, Nicholas Petrus says, Mama JF, please come back. We'll see if she comes back like last time. Uh, at this point, I, I'm not counting on anything. Mm -hmm. She's pretty convinced you, already she's not coming uh, back. The time, I've just become cons just totally uh, shelled from this because it's like it happened to me so often and so often that woman would make you commit into a lifestyle, make you commit into caring for them, and then they will just disappear and ruin your life in the process. Once again, he's saying they're just going to disappear. He has no idea, suppose at this point, that she's not going to come back, he's not going to see her immediately. But he's also relating here his past experiences with women and how often he's been rejected. And it kind of gives you a view into his mindset. If you've been rejected a lot of times, that could make you very angry homicidally angry in fact especially if you have an ego like this guy uh i've learned from having my life wrecked in many cities and many governments and many countries before i got it and i understood that you have to set your life on the assumption that your woman will uh leave you and that is uh 
that that should be a black pill to anyone in the chat because here i am with complete freedom complete support i can offer to any woman uh, i can i can pay for your life like you don't need to work for the rest of your life and here you, you can do whatever you want in the home here you, you want this floor yours that's all yours you do whatever you like and even when you get to that point with bitcoin reserves and everything they will still choose uh to go to the city to be a crack whore that, that is i'm not going to disparage her but she went to the city to become a crack whore and left me like all the other women that must have made you very angry jf garapay even though you're claiming you're completely fine with it that definitely would make you very angry if it happened again another woman ruined your life after so many other has done it no matter the fact that you tried to give her everything you let her do whatever she wanted to. She still left you. It's just what women are. They are all crack whores deep inside, and some of them can hide it for temporary amounts of time for a specific purpose if they have a plan. Anyways, it's not uh, not even talking here specifically about Mama JF, uh, but right. uh, women in general, in general are simply not trustable, mm -hmm. and they constrain themselves into living in poverty. They hate women, folks. I'm not going to bother to read the chat to this thing, but it's exactly what you would expect it to be. Incels, shitting on women all day, talking about how dangerous they are. Uh, shitting on Mama JF, blaming her for everything. There's even people on there saying, I don't even care if you killed her, JF. The only thing I care about is that you don't get caught because we like you. That's the level of dregs this guy is attracting. Uh, like through their own, to, through their own choices, and when it wrecks the life of children, I think we have a social interest in intervening and cutting out that liberty. But in once my again, he's saying, "Hey, we got to take women's freedom away from them. They should basically be slaves to the men, property of the men." without any agency of their own. And this is a common talking point in these right-wing manospheres. So even if this guy didn't kill her, holy God, what a piece of shit. Case, I'm comfortable enough, and Mama JF has left me with everything that matters in life, what matters most of Two life. Two kids. And so what can I do? I cannot hate her. I cannot be frustrated about this right i'm uh, totally fine with it i just explained to you how everyone in my life has abandoned me no matter how much i've tried to give them but i'm totally fine with it that's it so that's why i had to take three days total to i i Clean made so, so much cleaning uh so much reinstalling so much plastering of the walls construction renovation i wanted to set the home in the way i like it oh my fucking god dude he's just admitting to it this is what every single body that kills somebody in the house does pull up the carpet renovate clean good god no wonder the cops are looking at what do they know about this video it's like sterilize this home now i can walk finally i can access everything the fridge is super clean I had bought a, a new fridge, a, a gigantic fridge, and it was too bad because uh -huh. I couldn't uh, profit from this fridge because there was just too much things in it. It's like, oh, uh, bat uh, brain, bo bo boiled brat brain. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she had bull bat brain in the fridge, dude. Even say it. Boiled bat brains, uh -huh. little hairs from a squirrel. Uh, coniferous uh, branches like Mama JF was operating this fridge like a fucking witch uh, like somebody who's mentally infirmed someone who was not all there yeah no shit uh, but uh, I'm back into what matters in the fridge I like it that way so that's it uh, it was it it's a it's also a part of the process of recovering uh, you know, in your plans in life, I needed time to look at that home and see, uh -huh. all right, where am I headed in life? Do uh -huh. I want to uh, attach myself to a new woman? I think I may not actively seek a woman. Mm. Uh, although if there are women uh, who are seeking insemination, I would be available at this point. That's right. Don't you want this but I genetic specimen? Don't you want to have this guy's kids, ladies? Jump on that. He'll get you pregnant. 
Who wouldn't want this Adobe man child's dipshit children? I think uh, I've done enough in my life. I, I've uh, I've sacrificed so enough much. of my emotional and wealth, uh, emotional health and wealth to caring for women. So you. If if you want to take the insemination offer, my policy is to almost never refuse, mm. but I'm not going to solicit it. I'm not okay. going to do a contest seeking a new woman because I've I've reproduced you, enough. You just in killed my the last life. one, so get, take a I break. I can now care for the future and also take some time to enjoy life rather than always be at the service of these emotional wrecks. Uh, no, no, I'm not taking the gay pill, Callum Oxford. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't care that much about sex that I would want to be penetrated in the anus or suck a dick, okay? That's just, uh, I just don't... Uh, where you're going, dude, you might want to get used to that. I don't like sex all that much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, take the gay pill. Are you fucking kidding me? It's, you have to be desperate really to to try to try to recycle your digestive system as a whole for sexual pleasure. I mean, your male G spot is literally in your anus. Whether you do that with a man or a woman, you have to be fucking desperate. And, and you like sex too much at this point. It's like Nature had balanced things just correctly so that you like sex enough to get babies, but not enough to wreck your digestive system, wreck your anus. But somehow the, the, the balance turned, turned over. Uh, end of the line, Joel says, Jeff, wait for a snide sideways tweet from Philosophy Cat soon. Oh boy, uh, Philosophy Cat is not following me anymore. And she said, I have burned bridges. Well, it, it is always, and it touches upon what we'll talk about with Andrew Tate. Uh, there's always this philosophy in the feminist mindset, and it's mm -hmm. not just woman. It is also male leftists mm -hmm. who will do this. They will always try to find the guilt in the guy. Mm. Like, you, you cannot believe how much times I have spoken He's to victim, leftists privately. Mm -hmm. And they would be like, oh, well, they all left you, right? right. So there must be something wrong with you. True story. Uh, it, total assumption. Total assumption. When in fact, the statistics... Not an assumption. I'm listening to you. I'm looking at you. And the fact that every woman has left you tracks. Reveal the contrary. The statistics are totally independent of me. Mm -hmm. uh, the statistics not are here, that women are unreliable. They are disloyal. <laughs> Um, Unlike men. And, and so they always want to turn that to the responsibility of the men because we are in a very sad state of society where the, the brain of people is just incapable of processing female responsibility. Yeah, bullshit. It is not a thing. Mm. And, but, but it's capable of processing male responsibility. And so their brain goes directly to, oh, well, you Killed must her. have done something wrong you to each her. of these women. Yes, you that's must be exactly where it went. a wrong person. And it, it yep. totally fits within the female political interest to do Fucking this. Females. If, they hate if women, everything can be put on the on the back of males, then they can justify their program of attack against fathers. And to be clear here, the, this is getting us into the anti-feminist discussion. Mm -hmm. This is not a private comment on Mama JF. It I is. think that right. Mama JF has been super graceful. She's super in, great, y'all. I'm happy. In the she way she's done this. I'm not she's mad. She's done this in a way that would Don't minimalize let the paper say I was mad. arm and minimalize breakups mm -hmm. and, and hearts broken okay she did it perfectly and, i was totally happy the entire time 100 percent. i did not murder her when like every other woman she told me she was leaving me and our two kids and in a way that fully assumes uh, the responsibility of her choice spot ruckus says i want to be able to defend rare women that prioritize family as i have been married with child for 15 years now and cannot fathom leaving my child and husband but modern women continue to disappoint. Sorry, JF. Yeah, uh, I, I often speak to women who have been super loyal. 
it's a rarity, but they are out there and they will stick to their husband no matter what. And, and it's the mentality you have to be in. If you're constantly in that process of, oh, maybe I can get better, or oh, maybe I don't love him anymore. If you're in that uh, setting, you're not going to go very far in life. You're always going to be stuck reconstructing from scratch. And there, there are so much economic advantages to living together and psychological advantages. I'm going to cut it off there, folks. Um, so today, he's been basically doubling down, defending himself on Twitter. Uh, shit like this, where he says, Society, what I improve as long as people prefer to att attribute guilt to innocent men rather than conceive of the possibility that poor female decisions making does in fact exist. Yeah, it was all our fault. That's which somebody says, uh, it's still in your interest to ensure that she's found, dude. And you should also realize that the average person who hears about the situation isn't going to automatically rule it out. You should take this lightly or you shouldn't take this lightly. To which he responds, you think I'd be here if I cared about the average person's thoughts? Yeah, dude, you're rambling on in hour long videos posting post after post after post trying to spread your narrative clearly you think about what the average person thinks about the situation but he tried to play it off i don't even care i don't care about it i'm so innocent i don't have to care bullshit dude so anyway once again folks just want to reiterate i have no idea no inside information all i know is what i have just shown you but to me it looks incredibly suspicious and i understand why the police might be looking at him as a suspect and I 100% expect this to be on Dateline. And when it's on Dateline, I just want to say, hey, Dateline, uh, come pick me to be on the show. It can be like, he was an online journalist who broke this story four years ago when he put out a video asking somebody to help make sure this woman is okay from her abusive lover. And I'd be like, yeah, I, I broke this story wide open. Got to be on there, folks. Uh, look out for me. And... Major red flags, yep. Jeff will be with OJ soon. He's digging his own hole. I mean, like I said, even if he didn't kill her, these videos are incredibly stupid. You've done nothing but make yourself look far more guilty. And, like, undoubtedly, if you get charged with this, all these videos are going to be used in court against you. So just stupid all the way around. But what do you expect? The guy's a fucking moron. This is the kind of intellectual right-wingers Jews. This is what they consider to be smart. The dregs of humanity, the dumbest lowlifes. And these are also the people that are always talking about alpha males. Ooh, genetic specimens, alpha male. How can you be any more of a beta bitch than this guy? This doughy, balding sack of shit. Snaggle tooth fuck. So, in every goddamn way, just the lowest, the low, bottom of the barrel, genetic inferiority. That's a JF Garrape. And uh, all right, folks. It's been fun hanging out doing this. Just wanted to share. My thoughts, uh, my research, my investigation with you. Hopefully, this will be the jumping off point. You guys can go out there and we can crowdsource this. You guys can maybe watch uh, whatever videos you think of his uh, that might have evidence to this case. Um, do a little digging yourself and uh, we can collaborate. Come back together and I'll cover this story again as details emerge. And appreciate you joining me. I got a couple super chats I'm going to read real fast. Uh, that one stuff, I'm here for any kind of show you do, but a kitty party stream is where the big numbers are. Well, I'm not doing this for big numbers or money because no one's watching and I didn't make much money, but I'm doing this because I thought it was interesting and wanted to share, uh, what I set up all night watching with you guys. I thought some people might like it. So, but thank you. Oh, one stuff. Uh, Jeff channel was started with a loan from Jeffrey Epstein. Yes, he was $25,000. He got from Jeffrey Epstein. So definitely, uh, not guilty. He said, this is a kill stream in the past. True story. Uh, this is creepy. Yes, it is very creepy. Thanks for your awesomeness and alliance to the trans community. I'm trans male from Canada. Love your show. Hey, no problem. It's easy to be a good person, Casey. Uh, good to see you tonight. Thank you for supporting it. And uh, Dara Penna, thank you for your socialism. Five uh, dusty memberships to some of you lucky guys out there. Going to see you guys on tomorrow's show at the after party. I only just found out about this extra show. Sorry for being late. Hey, no problem. It was uh, on the spot. Was it ver wasn't planned out or anything. So it was just for fun. This loser, definitely a fucking loser in every way, even if he didn't kill her. BBC, what up, BBC? I sure hope this alpha male likes being bottom beta. Yeah, he might want to, like, I'm not talking about rape jokes, but just for real, if he spends the rest of his life in prison, chances are he might have some gay encounters. So he's going to prison for a long time, but he strikes me as a weak bit. Yeah, like, obviously, he's not 
a, a, a muscular, physical man who is going to defend himself in prison. He's going to have to make friends and will probably take himself out rather than go to prison. Probably. I could see him taking the easy way out. He looks like a fucking coward in every goddamn way. So, think that's interesting and sad. Yep, it was crazy. Imagine how I felt last night when I was watching this stuff. I was like, oh my God, I have to share this. I can't not share this with people. I've never seen anybody make themselves look so guilty. No, he's not in police custody now. They're still investigating. They haven't found the body yet. So, all right, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow on the regular show. I appreciate you joining me. Uh, Love you guys. And as always, so next time, Logic. Good night, everybody.